All right, Shalom Rastafari. Now, the first message that we would like to put forward this August 21st, 2012, to the Rastafari, to the community of Rastafari, to all of HIM, of His Imperial Majesty, Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, Haile Selassie, the first institutions, all of them, of any institution that has as, it, as its heart and center Kedamawi Haile Selassie, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie the First. This message is for you all, that we, the black people of the world, as well as the righteous among the Gentiles and others, all all who hailed Haile Selassie, it is one a one That means it is very important. It's the main, main thing for us to to pray for Ethiopia first and foremost, right? To pray for Ethiopia, as the Psalm says, to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Secondarily, which is really we, we, we should always be praying for the African of Sion because the African Zion is under a heavy a heavy spiritual warfare in this present time some are able to recognize that others might not be able to recognize it just yet but it should be obvious with what has recently um, been brought to light what has recently uh, transpired or transgressed or come about however the deaths this this double hit right this double hit to both the church and the state now the Wendemoch the brethren no doubt and the Deccam as Amorit might recall us mentioning Hosea Hosea um, the prophet Hosea I think is very much should be called to mind in this particular time um, some other prophecies as well seem to be lining themselves up in this particular time, as well as, no doubt you recall, this book here. I mean, this is what is, this is what is so amazing, right? This this particular book right here, right? Fikare Yeses. Now, this is the Amharic only um, translation of it, right? Or the Amharic original, should we say? Printed for the first time in the West by the line of Judah Society, by Mazenim. In the words, Moa Anbesa Ze'im Negeda Yehuda Machiber, right? By this Rastafari society in the Americas, the Caribbean, and throughout the world. And soon, Yah willing, um, we will have a, a raw translation and a basic level interpretation of it. So ones can at least get a, a general idea and for the students and, and the disciples um, it will help them hopefully in, in their Amharic studies and this can be a very good practice text as well because not only will you be learning through the guidance of the Holy Spirit but you will also be seeing the interpretation excuse me, the interpretation of Yeshua now Along with that particular message, right, is the message to restore the Ethiopian monarchy or the imperial monarchy. All right, this this comes down to us as Rastafari. We are that kingdom of the priesthood. Um, as you can see, there is a change of law, as it says in the book of Hebrews. There's a change of law. And this is the reason why so many of us are inspired, you understand, to learn more about our ancient Ethiopian culture. Um, some to um, get baptized in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. Um, others to either go to Ethiopia, right, or to join or start an HIM institution or organization. There's a reason for that. It's the Holy Spirit that's really moving us, right? And is moving upon us and inspiring us to do that. But there's a main focus that we should not lose sight of. And that is the support for 
the imperial monarchy. And this is a message that actually we wanted to put forward um, for a couple of days now. And um, we had the Sabbath even before the, the past Shabbat. But in the past uh, Shabbatical message, Ikev, there, there seemed to be um, uh, an inner message within that message. In other words, within the, the Torah portion that we call Ikev. Right, there was a message. Is a message. In Dehim Yehona, in Dehim, like this, it will be. So first and foremost, we want to not start this because there's already the support among many different Rastafari, and the Rastafari. This message is for the Ras Teferi or the Ras Teferi Yawiyan. Not so much for the Rastas. Some of the Rastas might support this as well. And there's a distinction, you understand, there's a distinction. Some are more into the culture, you understand, or we would call um, more the fruit, you understand, while some are the branches. But I and I is the root. And the monarchy, the Ethiopian monarchy, that's the root of the matter. And this right here, let's show you this right here. Um, this is His Highness Prince. And we hope to um, post up at our channel um, his vid, right? Um, and there's other members of the royal family, our royal family. That's why these teachings are so important to familiarize I and I ourselves with that government. You understand? Because the government, as the government rested on his imperial majesty's shoulders, so does that true Judeo-Christian Christianity, that, that Judeo root and Christianity being that, that, that branch. And I and I, as Rastafari, we are that fruit. So we need to, to pray for Ethiopia. You know, and pray for I and I, New Jerusalem. Pray for the African Zion, especially in this particular time, because our enemies... Are already rejoicing. Our enemies are already taking set by this judgment. Can we say is that a judgment? Some acts, is it an act of God? Is it God judging, first of all, on the 17th with um, the Ethiopian uh, patriarch, um, whom they call uh, Buna um, uh, Paulos? Others went further to say. Abuna Diablos, but we didn't we didn't like to mix up with that because Abuna Abuna in goodness means our father. So if you say, oh, he's Abuna uh, Diablos, you're saying uh, he's our father, the devil. So so see because of lack of education, some you know words, 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 my brothers and sisters, words. You know, but so that's first and foremost what we wanted to say, and we're going to pull out just a basic vid and say, I and I as true and faithful Rastafari should and must support the Ethiopian monarchy. And we want to go into a little bit more of a prophecy, particularly on this. We just posted a, a kind of a series, somewhat long, I think it was almost three or more hours, um, began off with, with uh, Caesar's Antichrist, or the counterfeit so-called Jesus, versus the true Christ, or the Black Messiah. And we touched on various different points, on spiritual warfare, on the gates of hell, you understand? And that's what it seems that we are about to witness, you know, is because with both the church, the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, and whom many Ethiopians call the, the fake patriarch, so forth and so on, um, with the state, with Melis Zanawi, um, also being pronounced dead, or at least announced dead, on um, this, the 21st of uh, August, um, 2012. Four days apart, four or five or so, roughly four days apart. What is up with that? I and I say this is another sign and a manifestation of what's written in this book, Ficare Iesus. Right, the explication of Yeshua, the explication of Yeses. Right, this is the prophesied little book 
of H.I.M., of the conquering line of the tribe of Judah, of Hila Selassie the first, elect of God, king of kings of Ethiopia. And this was published in the 43rd year of his imperial reign on the throne of David in Ethiopia, the African of Sion, the true Sion, prior to the Illuminati's godless and cruel dragon so-called creeping coup against Christ in his kingly character. And this is a signal, right? The, the events mentioned in here is a signal towards the end of the world. And it was the end of this world system and the incoming of the government or the kingdom of the king of kings and his Christ. All right? Now, the translation coming forward on this, and we're going to actually, with, with due diligence, this is why sometimes you'll find folks trolling on some of the pages that we have out there wanting to get into debate or some people having um, psychological issues. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of heavily burdened souls. But the word you really need to um, pay attention to is the word of Scripture, is the teaching of His Majesty, is, is the testimony of His Christ, of Yeshua. You understand? Know There's only so much that I and I can do, you understand, know as far as the different individuals, people commenting on pages and saying, oh, you don't want to debate. No, it's not about debate. The channel's called Illnet, Ethiopian World Net. There's no debate to Illnet. You understand? There's no debate to truth. We might make an error here or there, and some did point out certain things that we can clarify a little bit more, especially on the Islamo-fascist issue. But we're about to see a demonstration pretty soon. All right? Um, automatically, when they announced that Mela Zanawi, um was dead, um, they said that Al-Shabaab and, and others are rejoicing over this and seeing this as a, they're saying that the country will fall. You understand? In other words, the enemies of Ethiopia not only are or were against Melis or this government or that government, but in truth they were against Kedamawi Haile Selassie because they were against Christ's government and Christ's kingdom. All right? This is why we need to do more to support and to strengthen the Ethiopian, the imperial Ethiopian monarchy. Yo, and get this word out. Yo, and learn more. In fact, we had some other information here that we wanted to go into. This is a rough translation of the Constitution. The, the government of Ethiopia, the imperial government of Ethiopia Constitution. Because we need to become more familiar with our way of life, my brothers and sisters. Because we're coming out of the West. Where are we, where are we going? We're coming out of Babylon and we're going towards Sion. The first thing is getting our spiritual house in order. And then the next thing is learning about our country, our civilization, our government, you understand, our way of life. Stay tuned, brothers and sisters, much more on this. But this is a message to support, you understand, and to restore. Well, first, we, what we need to support them with our words, with our prayers, you understand, with other type of cooperative activities. You know, that, I mean, I look around on the Internet and there's very few of us even speaking about that. We hire, hire the Selassie, but what about his righteous, key word, operative word, what about his righteous ears? You understand? What about those righteous? We know we are ears, of course, but there is a particular government, you understand, a particular order of that government that we need to respect, you understand, in spirit and in truth. Sikari Yesus, this is it's amazing, my brothers and sisters, because we went through this book, translated, and just like the word says, it was sweet to in our mouth, bitter to in our belly, and now we see both church and state in 2012 being hit with so much other kind of change of radical changes are happening. This truly is a year 
in a, in, in a time of change. But are we just going to sit back and, and as Bob said, Burhan Salas, he said, well, um, you know, sit back and say, well, that's a part of the book, or we are going to act, you understand, act in accordance with our faith, because faith without works is dead. The enemies are already taking set against our divine heritage. You understand? So this is the message, this is the message called for, for unity, that the imperial government and the imperial monarchy is the rightful rallying point for all loyalists and royalists of Ras Tafari because time, right, is later than ones and ones think. So Shalom Ras Tafari, stay tuned. Watch and pray and pray for Ethiopia, our divine heritage.